Hey divas and gents, I'm coming to you with a jewelry video. So there will be just jewelry. That's all I'm showing today. <laughs> and oh my gosh, there's a couple more videos literally coming back to back that I want to hurry up and get done. And so let me just dive in. Okay, so a few of these are gift items and a few I just made because I just got on a mission. So those of you um, that um, watch my videos know that I absolutely love different colored metals. Um, my favorite being um, the bronze color and I do love bronze and copper mixed together and antique silver. It's completely beautiful. So I messed around with a couple of um, those colors. So let's go ahead and do the simple ones. Now I know that when the industrial chic i think it was was going when everything was clearancing everybody was going crazy and um purchasing all the stuff and when i got these i had no intention of using it for anything else but to use for jewelry because this is big i mean seriously i wouldn't put that as a charm on any of my items and i do enjoy wearing things that are like this big small I have, uh, there's pretty much no style that I, you know, a lot of people tend to like chunky or simple. I love both. All I did was add copper chain and a toggle. That is it. This whole piece was purchased. I have two of them and I absolutely love it. So it's just a simple chain with the charm and that's it. So now it is actually something that's out of my box of stuff and now can be put in my already made jewelry bin. Okay, and then also this one you guys will remember was also from that time. So I purchased a couple of these and I love it because see they used silver and then they mixed it with the copper and the um, Eiffel Tower. I thought this was great. All I did was add chain and a toggle. Of course, I had no desire to use this for anything else but for this necklace. I love it. It's gorgeous. And that's all I did. See, this right here was nothing for me to do. <laughs> the beauty was already in it. Okay. And then this right here is just a simple... I bought this. Who knows when, where. All I did was add... There was already holes drilled into the heart. And then I just added the chain. This sits a little higher on, um, like on the collarbone. And I liked it because it was just something simple. No dangles, no nothing extra. So that's that. Then this one right here. I had purchased these rings right here. So there's no, you see, I had to put um, jump rings for movement on here. Because there was no holes in it. So I did that. And then I added a Tim Holtz key, one of his old school medals. And then I just added some copper little um, charms. So it's just a wing, um, an angel's wing, um, a flower, and then just a pretty little metal piece. And everything is added with um, copper findings. So that's all I did. It's a very simple and cute, and I love it. Okay. So that is my coppers. Hopping on to bronze. Now this one right here is my favorite color metal. And um, so right here you will see I used this. I purchased this piece in Hobby Lobby in their vintage findings. It's something like that. Where are their vintage? So it's one piece and you could use it as a bracelet, but I opted to not use it as a bracelet, but to use as part of the chain. So, there we go. So you'll see that's how I did that. And then I just added um, a toggle. So I incorporated that into the chain. And then at the bottom, I went ahead and I added charms. This right here was given to me, and I believe it was Vicky that gave this to me. I could be wrong, but I believe it was. And it's a bronze key and it was gorgeous. I knew I was gonna use it. Um, for a necklace and then I just added a couple charms that I had this cute little umbrella and that pretty little heart it already had the pretty little um little um those <laughs> the little diamond looking pieces and there was already on the key I didn't add that and that's it something simple it's a fun long necklace to hang 
and I love it. Simple and fun, okay? Then I went ahead and I did um, another necklace, and I went ahead and also added this right here is Michael's. Um, they were clearancing them out and they had like five different colors. I think it was part of their vintage something. And um, so I purchased them because I love adding stuff like this into the links. And then all I did was I added one of these beautiful stones that I have. And then I put this brass, or, well, it's, it could be brass too, but bronze um, heart. And then it has little hearts inside the heart. super focus there we go so there's little hearts inside of it and it's adorable so I just have it hung on top of this and these are real stones they're not plastic or anything like that and um, I just have this hanging here and then this right here matches this stone so and then I just adhere the chains to the um, jump ring and that's it super simple Okay, then I went ahead and did another necklace that's simple. And I just grabbed some of my bronze chain and then I added this one here is another Tim Holtz key. And then I added another one of these hearts. And then this right here was part of one of those, um, those charms from, I think it was Industrial Secret, or the other one. So it just says like that B and then I have love. And then I just put this kind of bale on it. And it the chain was small enough to fit right through um, the chain. So I loved it. And that right there is mixing also the copper and the bronze together. So something simple, cute, just throw on a cute t-shirt and some jeans and bam. All right, this right here is a set. This is a little bigger, so it's probably be difficult to show. But here is the closure. This closure I purchased at Joann's. It was a, um, a multi-pack of um, three different kind. So this was one, and I'll show you um, on the bracelet the other one I used. So I am absolutely in love with layered necklaces. So, the, and this is all connected, they're not separate. So I use, this as the first layer, which is the one that sits the highest with this beautiful bird. Then the second layer, I added this. This was purchased from Hobby Lobby, as well as these right here. And it's part of their little vintage pieces, trinkets also. So I just added it on. So this hangs as a second piece. And the longest piece, I went ahead and grabbed another one of those pieces from Michael's which is white, and I also incorporated that into the chain, and this was also purchased from Michael's. There was like a pack of four back when they had them. I don't think they have these anymore. So these are all three connected. I see these necklaces at Nordstrom's, and man, they charge a lot of money for these type of layered necklaces. And I go in there and I get inspired many times when I go in there and I'll take pictures and I'll try to reinvent it when I come home. And then here's the bracelet that I went ahead and made to coordinate with it. Okay, get it to focus. Okay, and then this is the closure. This is the second type of closure. And I did this to where it's in the front and not the back. And then I just had this cute little heart dangling off of it. So see the chain is all the way around. I purchased my chains, wherever I can find chain, I purchase it. So it's kind of hard to say, cause I, once I, I put all my uh, metals in every, you know, like I have a bronze box that handles all of my bronze, my copper box, all my copper. So once I break it down, I don't keep the packaging. So this right here is the actual bracelet that um, coordinates with this. And then I made simple earrings because there's so much already going on with the necklace and the bracelet. And here is this right here. And these are what's on the necklace as well. So I just used some scrap chain pieces that I had because I never throw them away because I always end up needing to use them. And then I just had the lever backs type earrings or hooks. So this is one whole set. I absolutely love it, but I am not keeping that. And then 
I just went ahead and these right here were gifted to me and any of you ladies that I, I honestly don't remember where they came from it could have been oh gosh one of, of, of a few ladies that I got these beautiful pieces right here and all I did was add the split rings everything is gold and these stones right here inside are yellow and they're heavy it's like a glass bead inside so all I did was add chain I added this pretty little charm and I also did the lobster claw but it does it in the front I, I tend to like to do that a lot more so than the back because when you're putting a bracelet on it's so much easier when it's hanging right here and you can just clasp it as opposed to trying to get the two in the middle so and then I hung this pretty little locket from a shorter piece of chain so the locket opens and I believe I got that part from Michaels so I loved it I thought it was really pretty and cute okay so that's the only gold piece I did <laughs> then I went ahead and did some stretchy bracelets nothing super amazing because the people they're going to I don't know if they're all about the extra and adding a bunch of stuff so I, I try not to I try to make it as simple as possible okay so these um, this is purple So all I did was use one of these slider type bales and uh, there's a reason for this cute foot on here for the person it's for. Um, good gracious. Do I it backwards? Yeah, go this way. Okay. So it just has a little love one and this cute foot with a fat toe and then this cute little star. So this is just something that slides in between. And then I used all purple beads because it is the color choice of the person it's going to and then i did another purple one i love these beads i got them from hobby lobby gorge and then these pretty ones right here as well and then these are just pearl ones so that's how this one looks so these are to go together so i thought it would be fun and then the other individual um, likes pink. So I added this pretty glass heart. It's pink, but of course through here it looks clear. And then, but every all the beads that are on here are um, pink. And then I have little tiny four millimeter rondelles with the little um, glass beads inside. It's a super soft pink. This is an acrylic bead. These are lamp work beads, super gorge and then some pearls and then I have just a bunch of um, daisy spacers all the way around and then it's intermixed with these glass beads right here so that's one silver bracelet and then I did another one this right here is also a really pretty um, pink color these right here are really pretty glass beads they're like milk pink and then I just added these right here are our actual Swarovski, Swarovski crystals that I pulled from my stash. And then these right here are glass beads as well. They're just a soft pink. And these right here are daisy spacers, but they're square. They're not the, um, the actual flower. So these are to go with each other. So I hope the girls like that. And that's it for my jewelry. So I just wanted to quickly show these before I gift them off. And then package the other ones for upcoming gifts or if I decide to keep it or whatever I like to make jewelry and keep it in stash so thank you guys so much for stopping by and I missed you guys I'm just getting my mojo going so um, I will see you guys very soon bye